welcome to Kugio Sound. This is Bjorn Jacobson speaking, and this is a video series about how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. Hi, and welcome to Kugio Sound. Today, we're going to be taking a look at random tracks in the music system. We already have a music system here. If you haven't been following the series, I would encourage you to go back and watch these so that you know how this is set up. But we've been going over a number of things, and right now, we're going to be taking a look at random tracks. Whenever you click one of your music segments here, you can see that in our music segment piece, there is a track over here where this piece of music will play. And it's very nice, all that. That's cool. Made by Martin Pillison. It's really cool. Um, but what if we want it to randomize either this or this? So let's say if we click our music segment here and we actually copy this one into here, you will see that now there are two tracks. This means that it will play both of them at the same time. And that's no good because we don't want them to play at the same time. So instead of doing so, we will be up here, right click and say you want this track to be a random step. You can add a so-called subtrack now. As soon as you have told it to be a random track, you have the option to select the subtrack. Let's say if we go back, and this is no longer a random track, you cannot create subtracks. But set it to be a random track, create a subtrack, drag this one up here. So now when it plays, it'll play either one of these two. There isn't necessarily a way to see which one of them it is playing, you'll just have to know by ear. But you can use this for various things, such as controlling very closely which baseline track it plays. You can have multiple of these, so if you create this one, for example, as well, and create a new track as well, new track. So let's say if this here is your baseline, this here is your strings, and this here is your other piece that plays the lead vocals, you can have randomized versions of each of these, which makes it very easy to create very dynamic styles of music, and you can even have it randomized so that it never becomes the same piece. And that's how you use the random track system. Thank you for watching this Kujo Sound video on how to do AAA sized projects in WISE. If you like this video, why not hit the thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel and all the time that I take off to create all this content, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can help me sustain this channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you again in another video or check out some of the other videos on the channel. It's a lot of game audio stuff. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.